Hey guys, it's Ariel and welcome back to my channel. I'm just sitting here, it's like this bride of Chucky looking ass bitch. But I am living for this hair. Uh, this hair, I'm gonna start off by saying that, was provided by Wigs by Vanity and styled by our company Drag by Cheriel and I'm fucking living for it. I think it's the rooted L it's called with the topper, but like, holy shit. I am totally obsessed with this hair. I feel like a freaking slut and my one nails like falling off. Today's tutorial, we are gonna go and show you how to get this starry-eyed look. All rights reserved to Ellie Golding for that song. This dress was from Armani Exchange or something like that, and I thought it fit the look. And today's lip is also going to be like a little first impression of the Jeffree Star Designer Blood Velour Liquid Lipstick. It is fucking sickening. So if you're thinking about getting this color, this it's freaking incredible. What is that? Look at this nail. Like, ew. <laughs> Make sure you pick up the color because it is sickening. So if you guys continue watching, you will see how to get this starry eyed look. Today's video, the eye look was a little bit more soft. Uh, it's not like my little harsh cut crease that I do. It's all about the blending, bitch. So do it to the best of your ability, which I'm sure is thought provoking. Also, if you guys are not subscribed right now, make sure you click subscribe and you like this video because all right guys, let's dive into our starry eye tutorial. Make sure you prep the under eye area before starting with a translucent powder. I like to use the Kat Von D. And the first thing we're gonna do is take a white powder. I used one from the Morphe Contour Palette. Just kidding, it's not Morphe. It's BH Cosmetics, oopsie boopsie. And we're just gonna pat that under the brow and blend downward. Now I'm gonna take a brown from that same palette and what we're gonna kinda do is round out the eye shape by patting it on the two sides of the eyes. We're not cutting a crease, we're just gonna build definition and depth on the sides of the eye to make more of like a round shape. So it should leave you with like a sloppy ass circle in the center and then you're gonna keep building it with a black shadow. I'm just using a black shadow from Sephora collection to really deepen out the sides. So as you can see, that blank space is gonna be kind of our quote unquote lid. Now we're going to take this color, this teal from the Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette. We're going to press that teal on that blank space to create this lid. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit more of a smoky look, so it's just about blending all the shadows together and just making sure everything is really freaking blended. There's not a lot of definition in this look, just keep blending. And we're also not doing a huge graphic liner with this look. We're just going to apply it sort of kind of closely to the lash line, just to get some definition there. Then I'm gonna take that same black shadow and we're just gonna press that to the very side because we want our liner to melt into the shadow. And just keep blending that out. Now I'm taking a nude tone just to blend out the crease and make sure it's very nice and blended into the white. And we can add more white just to make sure everything's blended. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. glitter glue and we're just patting that on that new lid area to prep for the glitter. And I'm using glitter from Lit Cosmetics in the shade Peacock to give that nice pretty teal color. Now I'm brushing off all the extra dust under my eyes so we can prep for the under eye. Now I'm just filling in the brow with a little bit of a brown brow powder and I also sprayed the brush with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix to wet it so I can paint it on. And I decided to go back in and deepen the side of the eye with black because I just really wanted to look like a slut and make sure it's nice and blended. Now go back into that Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette or whatever teal you have and we're just gonna start smoking out that under eye area. And you wanna connect it with the shadow that's on the lid. We'll blend that out later. Now take that same black and really tight line under the lash line on the bottom. And just keep blending, bitch, because God knows you need it. More black never hurt. Now we're just gonna go kind of imitate some natural brow hairs so you can be like a real passable fish and make your brows look more realistic, give them more dimension and depth. And this is just a brown liner from Sephora Collection. Now I am taking the pencil Dark Side from Anastasia Beverly Hills and we are just lining the lash line. Now I'm taking my favorite mascara, the Tarte Tardis Mascara, and we are just piling that shit on. Make your lashes nice and big and thick before we put fake eyelashes on. Always put fake eyelashes on or don't go out. 
and uh, go figure, just keep blending. Because like I said, this look is all about the blending, and I had a freaking itch on my head, and now I think I'm cute and look like trade, but I don't because I am wearing slutty eyeshadow. Go home, you're drunk. I'm going to finish my complexion off camera, consisting of bronzer, blush, highlighter, just setting powders, all that good stuff, and I didn't feel like filming it. But here it is. Now I'm just going to put some blackheads on my face. <clears throat> I mean, uh, freckles, because I am a sassy ginger princess. So, yeah. Now I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Designer Blood. It's really pigmented. It's it's sickening. I was obsessed with it. Um, it definitely is a little bit different than the typical Unicorn Blood. It appeared a little bit deeper to me, and the color was actually a little bit richer, I feel like. I, I really love it. It's probably going to be my new go-to red. Now we apply our lashes and our contacts, and the look is complete. Nice and blended, full coverage cunt fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that fun bullshit. And um, we will see you next week for next week's video. And, you know, bye now. As always, yes. yes.